Hi, my name's Lamar Scholl from DirectionToSuccess.com. Did you ever have homework? Of course you did, right? Way too much, and you don't even want to think about it anymore. Totally get it. But did you ever get paid for doing homework? Well, guess what? I did. I had to do a split test on two different capture pages. And if you want to find out some more, stick around. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to talk about a capture page, and I'm going to explain what that is here in a minute. And we're going to talk about split testing, and I'm going to show you how I've done that over in ClickFunnels and why split testing is important. So a capture page simply collects some information from your visitor. It's very minimal information. Usually it's a name and email address. And most of the time, it's simply just an email address. So why do you do this? Well, this is visitors or people coming from another link somewhere, clicking on your link, coming into your capture page. You want to be able to collect their email address so it's in your autoresponder lists. Why? You know why? So you can market to them later. So the idea is to get as many names as possible, which are called leads, into your autoresponder list. And you want to create these capture pages to, sorry, to get the most leads into your list. This is called conversions. So you're going to turn these visitors into leads. They become leads the minute they are on your email list, right? So what I mean by conversions is if 100 people come to your capture page and only 30 of them sign up or sign their email address that land on your, into your autoresponder, that means you have a 30% opt-in rate or conversion rate from visitors to leads. Now, you want to be able to make your capture pages better or make changes to them, right? Because 30% is okay, but you want that number higher. Meaning if 100 people come in, I want that conversion rate to go up. Maybe I get 40%. So that would be 40 people for every 100 will opt into my list, right? For the same amount of clicks. So if you're running solo ads or just about any kind of you know advertisement that you're doing right you're going to bring them to your landing page they're going to you know you want them to opt in to your email list so you can market to them later well with split testing this is what we're going to do this is going to allow us to improve on our conversion rate our opt-in rate that we get from our capture page so to do that, what you need to do is make a change to your capture page. And you only want to make one change at a time. So if your capture page, you know, you have the heading on there, right? So you could change the font color. Maybe it's black. In this case, the one we're looking at here has red font in it, right? And it only has my I'm only collecting an email address here, right? Then they hit the button, and then they'll go to my sales page. Well, if this um, capture page here that we're looking at only gets, like, say, a 42% opt-in rate, I don't know, I'm just making that number out. I got some numbers here I'm going to show you in a second. I want to get that opt-in rate even higher, right? So the idea is to do split testing. And when you do split testing, you basically make a copy of your current capture page and then with that other copy make only one change so you notice this just says free video learn how to earn up to three hundred dollars a day per day from home well what i did now i made a copy of that landing page you were just looking at and the only thing i did was change the font color from red to black so now that I have my two capture pages, this one is my first one, which I call A, and this one is my second one, or B. 
And like I said, the only change I made was just the text color. Now what I want to do is next time I start running traffic, I want to run my split test. So now I have to go into Click Magic to set up my split test now that both of my landing pages are done. So I just happen to have Click Magic up here and running. And I've already done this split test, so I'm going to show you the results. So if you look up here, this says Power Leads, oops, sorry about that, Power Leads System dash homework. And this little kind of share looking kind of symbol means it's a split test in Click Magic. So my test I did, I ordered 500 clicks, right? Now I can see my overall results here of both capture pages. Actually, I got a little bit more than 500. It's actually 530 because I'm going, if you, if I move up here, this second column in, the UC column stands for unique clicks, and that's the only one at this particular time I'm most interested in. So I am going to bring you right, let's bring this back up. So here we are again, right here, this homework line, this is the split test symbol and click magic so from these 530 clicks this column tells me how many people opted in 234 okay and that's a 44.2 percent opt-in rate not bad but i'm always looking to improve that right you want to get that number as high as you can but before we talk about that and what to do next let's kind of look at our results of our split test. So I'm just going to open up, click on the 555, the triple nickel, and I'm just going to show you the results of our split test. So I'm looking in Click Magic right here where it says primary URL. So that is my original landing page, okay? And that was this landing page, or is this landing page right here. So this is the landing page with the red text. Now I'm going to bounce back over to Click Magic. So if you see down here, Beach B, that is this other landing page. So this is the one I created by making a copy of the first one, changing the text color from red to black. So if I look at my numbers here, I'm going to go down the second column here, the UC column, Unique Clicks. So the red, I'm just going to call it red landing page, right? That was the red text. That had 263 opt in, I mean, sorry, 263 clicks. Sorry about that. The landing page with the black text had 267. So, really, those numbers are, well, I know they're not the same, but if you were doing the mathematical equivalent, it would be like an equals with the squiggly. Oh, no, we haven't seen that in a while, but it's an equals with the squiggly, so it's an approximate. Close enough for government work, as I always say. So, Going back up here now, over in the A column, this is called an act action column. So I have a pixel on there to know that these are the people or the, uh, the amount of people that have uh, entered their email address and clicked on the submit button, right? So going back to the original one, the red one, I had out of those 500, well, I'm sorry, out of 263, I had 121 of them opt in. That gave me a 45.6% opt-in rate. Going down to Beach B, the other landing page with the black text, right? Out of 207, uh, I'm sorry, I keep going the wrong column. Out of 267 people, so it's eh, a little skosh more, right? We only had 114 people opt in. So the conversion rate, not bad yet, but it's a little low, right? 42.7? I mean, these were both pretty close, right? But now that I tested, I did my split test in Click Magic with these two landing pages. I'm coming back to Click Magic here real quick. A, I wouldn't say it's the clear winner, but it did win, right? Meaning out of you know, the, just because of the higher opt-in rate here. I'm sorry, because, you know, it's close. I mean, that's why I'm having a hard time really saying there's a winner. You know, 42 and 45%. Like, I could run the same split test 
against 500 clicks again, right? And it probably could be close, but the other way. But let's go from there. So the winner out of this duel was this page. So this was my original one. In this case, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm not going to use the one with the black text anymore, right? So I'm coming back and using this opt-in page. So this is what I call my control. Now, before I run traffic again, I would do another split test, right? So I, I'm going to leave this. But now, maybe, I mean, there's a, you know, the possibilities are endless, right? I could probably change this picture in the background. So before I did that, what I would do is make another copy of this landing page and then just change, you know, change the background of that other landing page. Then run, make, you know, set up another link here and click magic and order, go out and order 500 clicks and see how that goes. So say if my, change my picture in the back, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter what it is, but say that new landing page I just created does better, right? So say this, this landing page we're looking at, the original one, gets a 40% opt-in rate. The new landing page that we don't see here, <laughs> so you got to kind of imagine this. So you can kind of imagine maybe, I don't know, a mountain range in the background or something versus the beach. So maybe that one gets a 50% opt-in rate. Well, then what I would do in that case is get rid of this one. I would delete this landing page or just not use it. And then that other landing page that your imagination has to be used to be seen is the mountain range background that got the 50% opt-in rate. I would use that one as my standard, right? So now the next time I would run traffic, I would make a copy of that one and change one more little thing. So you keep going, but any of those pages that are getting over 50%, I stash those away. Like I don't delete those. I keep those as my arsenal, right? I want to use those later. So maybe I want to save any of those pages getting in the high 40s or low 50s, right? And then when I'm running traffic, I might use that one and then run traffic from a different source. I'll pull from my library and pick this one, right? So that's how you're going to get, build up your library of landing pages. You just don't want to trust something because a lot of times, I'm way wrong about this. A matter of fact, I could probably say I'm 100% wrong. If I build a landing page and I'm like thinking this is great, I'm using great colors, I got a great headline, you know, my font's the right size, those usually don't do as good. When I have a simple landing page like we're looking at right now, these seem to do better. Not for all kinds of traffic. This typically will work good for solo ad traffic. So if you are doing solo ads, this is the type of landing page you might want to start with. Then split test. And remember, make a copy of your original. Make just one change only. And speaking of a change, you could even change the fields they enter here. You notice I'm taking, you know, just an email address. Well, you could make a copy of this landing page if this is your winner and have them maybe in the copy have them enter their name and email address and just see you know you want to try changing everything it's there's no set things in stone right this is up to you it's your imagination but with click magic you can keep track of exactly those numbers now if this test is close and you're curious again, you know what? Just run the test again. The way this is done, too, I didn't explain this. I'm sorry about that. Let, give me a second here. So this is that split test. Now, what you want to do when you open up in case of click magic, this is the URL right here that you are going to uh, that you're going to send to. You know, if you're doing solo ads, right? This would be the URL you would send to your vendor, your link. Right, so it's not these different links down here. You know, the oh, sorry, the URLs for the page. You're not sending these, right? You're going back in the Click Magic, and you're going to send this, and you're going to get all these results. Oh, you know what? 
I'm glad you asked. Thanks. <clears throat> I almost ended this video. So I'm glad you reminded me. So you want to say, hey, Lamar, so we're doing the split testing. I want to be able to still check my traffic quality. Well, guess what? You come over to this little gear or cog, whatever you want to call it, wheel with bumps on it. I don't know, but it's that thing right here. And you come down here and you want to, well, here's split testing. I didn't explain how to do this in Click Magic. Um, this video is kind of running long. I can put a link in below this video and I have another video I did. It's a lot more. I didn't have as much coffee as I do now. So I'm a little bit calmer and more relaxed in there. Um, what we Oh yeah, traffic quality. So I'm sorry about that. It's late at night. I'm working on another cup of joe. It's the only way you can burn the late night, late night hours or get ready to. It's really not late right now, but I was up since four. Still going to go. I got about four or five more hours to pump out, and then I'm going to call it 10 toes up. But here, I've got my traffic quality. I'm sure you guys don't care about that. I can see that here's my unique picks, right? Like total for that thing is 532. And over here, this is my T1 stats, right? This is what we all care about, and it's right around 86%. When I see the meter in green, I know I'm good. So as well as doing the split testing, finding out what capture pages I'm doing, I'm able to still keep track of my clicks and my traffic quality. So if you want to know anything about Click Magic or <clears throat> how to use it, there's a 14-day trial link down below. You can try that out. And by the way, these capture pages, I can make a copy within a matter of seconds. I use a system called a, the Power Lead system. Not only can make unbelievable capture pages, you can. Um, it's a great thing to fund your business as well. And I will leave a link below. I didn't explain any of that because that's not what this video is about. It was about the homework and getting back to the money thing, right? When I ran this split test. I actually made a few sales along the way. Now, I didn't I don't I'm not able to keep track of which landing page gave me which sale, but I was able to keep track of which landing page people opted into. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was all over the place, but I just had to squeeze this video in to get it done cuz this was bothering me when I was on my drive home. Yes, it was bothering me. I wanted to explain to people that, yes, you can do homework and actually get paid. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it at all, smash that like button. And trust me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're going to see other videos a little bit more. Uh, nah, they're not going to be. They're just like this one. So if you like this, subscribe. You know what? Even if you don't like it, subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments. and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. 